Hi. Okay, coming to you again from my studio. And today we're going to use that homemade clay that we made a couple weeks ago uh, to make peace birds. And here is an example of my peace bird. I made mine a hummingbird. Hummingbirds bring me messages all the time. And so what I'm going to teach you to do is to model a bird. I'm actually going to do a dove with the Play-Doh uh, because that's much simpler and not as detailed. And I'll teach you a hummingbird with the porcelain clay. And then uh, you can make yourself a little prayer or a note and roll it up and insert it into your little bird. Just like that. Didn't roll it up. There we go. Just like that. There it is. Okay, I'm going to move the camera down and show you what to do. So for the hummingbird, we're going to use the porcelain clay and you'll need a little pin. We're going to use toothpicks to hold the pieces of the body together. Um, might be a good idea to write your little note, whatever you want to write inside your messenger bird, your peace bird. Note of peace to the world or a prayer. Um, the paper I pre-cut, it's two inches by four and a quarter inches here. I cut two of those. And the first thing you want to do is warm up your clay. So I'm using the Play-Doh now, and I'm going to make a dove. So I'm going to divide it now. Here's a, a little ball for the head. Probably about the same size for the wings. Like so. And then the rest of it will be the body. So I'm going to smooth it out into a ball. And I'm going to kind of pull out the tail here. Let me make the ball. There we go. I'm lucky because I have a morning dove greet me every day just right outside my window. Okay. Then the next step, I'm going to put a toothpick in to make sure that the head stays on. It doesn't take much. I'm going to take this ball, smooth it out, and I'm going to put it on right where I think the head should be, like that. And I'm going to kind of blend it in with my fingernail there. It sticks pretty good. And then smooth it out. I have a little cup of water here that will help smooth some of that out. Just like you would real dirt clay if you were sculpting with it. Okay, and then I'm going to pinch out the beak. Just remember you're working in three dimensions, not two. If you're drawing it, you just squeeze a little, but you've got to look at it from all the way around. Make sure it's in the right place. Probably a little pointier than that. Still smoothing out the wrinkles there. Oh, I like that little expression that it's got. Okay, now, before I put on the wings, I made a little mistake with my hummingbird, and I didn't make the hole 
before I made the wings. So I'm just going to put my pencil through like that and then take it out the other side so that I've got a nice open hole and then I'll put my wings above that. You can see the tail got a little smushed there. This is where these empty rolls of toilet paper can really come in handy in your crafting area, your art room, my studio in my case. And I'm just going to set it there like that while I make the wings. And for the wings, I'm going to shape that ball into kind of a flat teardrop. You don't want to make the wings too big or too thin or they'll just fall off. You know, it's really almost a leaf shape. And I'm just going to press it a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner. And the top of the wing here, I don't know if you can see, it's going to be thicker than the bottom of the wing where there's more feathers and no bone. The top of the wing has a bone. All right, I'm going to set that down. And the trick is to not lose your Play Doh ball. It. to make them the same size. So I'm doing the teardrop again. The top got dirty there. It's going to be a little thicker. We'll put them together, match them up pretty close. And then again, I'm going to use a toothpick. This time I'm going to break it in half. And I'm going to have the sharp end point out. I'm going to go right in there above the hole I made for the message. And then insert the wing into that thicker, heavier spot at the top. Do the other side to the thicker, heavier spot. I'm going to take it out. And I'm using a little bit of water. Actually, you could use a toothpick too just to make sure it's sticking to itself. Just 
too much of my toothpick went in there, so I'll just go over the top. You should maybe be a little more forward to make it look more like a bird. And if you wanted to fold the wings up, they could fold back. You wouldn't need the um, the toothpick for that. And smooth it out. And you can use your pencil or your toothpick to draw in some detail. If you wanted to draw in the eyes. Like that. There you go. And then, I don't know, maybe we want to leave the pencil in to let it rest like that. And the wings have something to rest on. And this little bird will air dry. Meanwhile, you can write your message on your paper. Roll it up tiny. It's to be smaller than the diameter of the pencil. This will air dry, like I said, in a couple days. You want to wait till it was dry before you put your message in, or it'll be glued in. But you just slip it in, just like that, into that pencil hole. If you have Vaseline or um, um, baking oil, or even baby oil, you might want to put that in the pencil to make sure it comes in and out easily. Um, but I think if you let it dry well, you can just gently rotate the pencil until it's free. Don't just try to pull it straight out or it might break your little bird. Okay. And that is how you make a peace stub with a message. I'm going to save the hummingbird for another video because this one was kind of long. So I'll make a second video for the hummingbird. Okay, that's all for today. Bye.